I've had many people in my family that were affected by cancer and I've seen them suffer. My great grandfather actually had colon cancer and my grandfather also had colon cancer and he had to get half of it removed. The program started in 2016. The goals are really to uh, motivate and prepare students from Eastern Kentucky to pursue cancer careers, uh, research careers, healthcare careers community engagement careers uh, to help us solve the cancer problem in Eastern Kentucky. I think the program has had significant impact on all the high school students that have been in the program. They've learned uh, a tremendous amount about cancer in ways that they couldn't have otherwise learned uh, in terms of coming to campus, participating in, in world-class cancer research uh, and cutting edge research labs. They've been able to, to shadow clinicians here at UK Healthcare when they wouldn't have otherwise had such opportunities. I wanted to be in the program because I've just always been interested in the medical field and I've always really wanted to be a doctor. My faculty mentor is Dr. Joe Colester and in her lab I've learned a lot about cell culture and how to split a cell and just a lot of lab techniques. So my mentor is Dr. Kate. Um, her research is with colon cancer. I've been doing a lot of work with cell culturing and working with gels as well. Students learn a lot about cancer. They participated in significant uh, amount of educational activities, uh, including writing stories that have been published. We've published two books as a program where students have written personal essays about their experiences with cancer. This time around, we're having students write realistic fictional stories about cancer in Eastern Kentucky and how they navigate the various different issues that Appalachians face uh, in, in trying to get care for cancer. Well, my story um, is about someone and she gets um, kidney cancer. She ends up needing a kidney transplant and then she like finds a donor like miraculously and like it's all happy ending. I was really interested in ovarian cancer when I first started this, and so my character actually has ovarian cancer. And so what happens is she finds that out, she gets cured, and then she goes around the world raising charity for people that have ovarian cancer. It's really just to show people how cancer can affect other people, whether it's bad or whether they get over it and stuff. It's really just how to show, like, show people what it can do. I would say the thing I'm most proud of are the students. The students have been phenomenal. They're all um, fantastic to work with and they've all done such amazing things. I mentioned, uh, you know, students going to medical school, graduate school, uh, the high school, high school students finishing high school and going to college. I've learned a lot about how cancer has affected Appalachia and how me being in this program, I can go back to my hometown and just spread information about how you can prevent cancer and habits and how to prevent habits that lead to cancer. And that can just help people in my community. I've learned so many things, honestly. I don't think I can name them all, but one of them is really how to work with people, different people. I've always been like a shy kid and I've had to get out there and like meet new people and everything. It's really just a great program in general. You meet so many new people and everyone here is really nice. Everyone could fit in. Where does action go from here? I think uh, it would be a great opportunity to expand the program, perhaps creating a, a year-round residential program for high school students to really be engaged in preparing for a cancer career. Uh, it, it could be a really unique opportunity. I think it's a great opportunity. You can come to UK, live at UK, and learn about all kinds of things. It's just a great experience, and I think all high school students should have this experience.